Oh, little bird, where are you? I hope that you are ready for our tutoring session. I know that I am. There you are. I was looking all over for you. Why are you all the way in the back of the study hall? I thought we agreed to meet in the front. Oh, who's this? Who is this strange man, little bird? I thought this was our study time. Tell him to leave, little bird. This is our time together. We do this once a week, you know this. I, I don't care if he needs extra attention. What? How is this my fault? So, because I didn't call you and tell you I was going to be late to our study session, you, you called him in. Why are you even tutoring him? He looks like such a nerd. He doesn't even need any tutoring. No, I will not take back that last statement, nor will I apologize. It's obvious to me that he is here just to flirt with you. It's pathetic, really. Do not apologize to him on my behalf. Why? Because I want him to leave. <laughs> Are you giving me an ultimatum? You just told me to either join the session with the both of you or leave. That sounds like an ultimatum to me. And you know that I despise ultimatums. Almost as much as I despise sharing you, little bird. All right. I'll stay, but only to make sure this bastard keeps his hands to himself. So now, where did we leave off in our studies? Uh, English, my least favourite subject. Wait a minute, that's where I've seen you from. You're in my English class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you sit in the seat in front of me. You thought I wouldn't recognize you. Just because I'm popular doesn't mean that I'm not observant. Hell, I'm observant enough to know for a fact that you don't belong here. Tutoring is meant for those who need special help in their studies. And all you are looking for is my little bird's special help. That, I can guarantee, will never happen. For as long as I live, if you want to stay alive, that is. Oh, my sweet girl, my sweet, naive little bird. Don't you see? He's playing you. Just today he made a 100 on his essay. Metaphors or some shit. Isn't that right, mate? Hmm. You think I'm making this up? What reason do I have to make this up? Because I'm jealous. No. Well, I'm more pissed off at your naivety than anything else. This man is lying to you, to my sweet, innocent girl, just to get into her pants. Obviously he has a death wish, which I'm obliged to fulfill if he keeps this up. <sighs> Fine, don't believe me. But you are going to feel so embarrassed when I prove you wrong. How will I prove you wrong, you ask? Easy. But mate, why don't you be a good lad and pull out your graded essay paper that Miss Rowe handed you this morning? Why? Well, to prove me wrong, of course. Come on now, don't keep us in suspense. You're only making me look like the good guy. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Hush now, little bird. Quit your chirping. The men are having a conversation. Oh, what did you do that for? Oh, hush. You love it when I'm being an ass. I know exactly.
exactly how much you enjoy it, sweet girl. Now back to the task at hand. Show her your paper. Why not? If you have absolutely nothing to hide, then I suggest you show her. Before I make you show her, you have to the count of three. One, two, three. Time's up. See, little bird, I wouldn't lie to you about something like this. Your safety is the only thing I am concerned about, even if I have to be an ass just to make sure that you stay safe. Now look at the paper and know that I am telling the truth. I told you so. Now I think it would be best if he left. Preferably before my good mood is gone and I beat him to a bloody pulp. That's right. Run away, you coward. Don't let me see you within an inch of my little bird or there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Now where do you think you are going? You are going to follow him and apologize. What for? For my behavior? He's the one who lied to you. So what if I embarrassed him? He deserved it. Trying to take advantage of a sweet girl like you? Oh, hush, don't pretend like you didn't like the idea of us fighting over you. Over who would win your affection. I mean, of course, I would win. What? Oh, you little minx. You don't think I would win? You've got to be joking. That's fine, because I'll just prove to you why I would be the one to win. You see, I would win because I already have you. Wrapped around my little finger. I was the first to claim you. And I intend to be the very last. You have no clue how angry I was seeing him sitting next to you. Interrupting our time together. If I would have gotten my hands on him. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Because now, my hands are on you. I want to feel your body pressed up against mine when I kiss the decadent lips. Do you like when my hand rests on your lower back? Or how my other hand cradles your face gently? Do you feel safe with me, my little bird? Good, good. That pleases me, and I know just how much you love to please me. Oh my, was that a giggle? Who knew that I would ever draw that sound from your lips? I quite like that sound. I don't want to hear more of it. Hmm, it. I need you to promise me something. Promise me that you won't tutor another boy at this school again. You have no clue what any of their intentions are. And it would destroy me if you were ever to get hurt. So please, just let me be the only male that you see after school. Thank you, my sweet girl. Now how about we finish this session at my place, huh? 
That way I can have you all to myself. Sounds like a plan. We could even learn anatomy. Wouldn't you like that? Rush now, love. Come along. We have a lot of studying to do.